Hello, everyone. Okay, I have gotten so many uh, questions about this topic. Uh, and I've sent out so many individual audio messages and emails surrounding this topic that uh, I, I finally decided to break down and just do a whole video on it. <clears throat> um, I should have done this a long time ago. Uh, would have saved me a lot of time. I could have sent you guys all a link, a YouTube link versus um, typing stuff out and you know going on and on for 10 and 15 minutes at a time on an audio message. So this is the definitive video on uh, batch prepping uh, batch cooking, meal prepping, whatever you want to call it, um, cooked food weights versus raw food weights, the calorie content of cooked food versus raw food, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I'm going to try to hit on all of this stuff. So I understand that many of you prefer, for whatever reason, usually some type of time constraint or busy schedule, uh, you prefer to meal prep and batch cook large amounts of food for several days or the whole week, okay? Um, and there's confusion about how to weigh and measure and quantify all that going from a raw, uncooked amount, which is always the most accurate, to a cooked amount. And then how do you portion all this stuff out and, and do all the number crunching? So I'm going to walk you through this. And this is the there's there's probably other ways to do this, but this is the method that I think is is best and most accurate. And yes, there is some front end leg work involved. Sorry, sometimes you're gonna to have to do that stuff. Uh, but once you do this one time, you'll then have the information forever and you won't have to do it again. Now you will have to do it for individual foods. But again, once you do this uh, one single time, you can refer to it for the rest of your life. Okay, so let's start. Let's say you're going to batch cook or meal prep on a Sunday or whenever you guys do it. I do not meal prep, by the way, never have. My meals are so simple and uh, basic that it takes me maybe 10 minutes to cook a meal. It's neither here nor there. Um, anyway, okay, so let's say you're gonna meal prep on a Sunday. Let's use uh, rice, okay? This is just really generic, good old fashioned white rice, okay? So let's say I'm gonna bulk batch prep rice for the week, whatever, three days, five days, whatever it is, okay? The first thing you're gonna do, there is a nutrition label on this rice, see, okay? You are going to open whatever nutrition tracking app you use, Nutrition IX Track, My Fitness Pal, Chronometer, whatever, okay? And you're going to open it, and there's a barcode scanner, and you are going to, where's the barcode? You're going to scan the barcode, okay? Which is what I'm doing right now. So. Now the nutrition label has popped up uh, on this rice, okay? Um, I have this data, it is 46 grams, uh, 170 calories, 38 grams of carbs, four grams of protein, okay? I now have this information. Now, what I'm going to do, all right? I am now gonna take a bowl or whatever, a whatever, I'm going to put it on a food scale, okay? You can't see the food scale that well or at all, it doesn't matter. It's over here. All right. It's turned on. I am then going to pour. I'm going to turn the food scale on. It's going to be at zero. I'm going to zero it out in grams. I'm going to tap out, pour out as much white, white rice as I'm going to bulk prep. Whatever that number is for you. Um, let's just say I'm going to do four servings. So 46 times four is what? Uh, 184 grams. I'm going to tap this out 184 grams. Okay, on the food scale, that's four serving, four meals. Okay, um, I'm then going to go in the nutrition tracking app and the barcode that I just scanned. I'm going to adjust the grams to um, what did I say it was? Uh, 184. So I'm going to type in 184. I'm going to hit enter. That is going to give me the total calories and macros for this white rice. Okay, in this in this bulk amount. Okay, so. Let me just do this in real time. There we go. I'm gonna log it. So I'm actually doing this now, what I just told you guys to do. Um, now, I'm going to change the amount to grams 184. Okay, so I'm doing uh, four servings for four meals, or you can do it for however many meals you have planned out for the week if you're gonna have a rice-based meal for your carb, okay? Now, 
the uh, in the entire thing, the entire 184 grams that I just poured out dry into the bowl on the food scale is 680 calories, 152 grams of carbs, 16 grams of protein, zero grams of fat. Okay. Now, next step. I posted note, notebook, whatever, screenshot, whatever you want to do. Okay. I'm going to copy down that macro information. All right. For that amount of white rice. So I'm just going to write it down in my notebook, take a screenshot of it, whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter. All right. Now I'm going to cook this rice that I, this 184 grams of dry uncooked white rice. I'm going to cook it boiling water in, a, in an instant pot, in a rice cooker, whatever it is you do, I'm going, you're going to cook the rice. All right. Now, what you're going to do now is you are going, after it's cooked, you are going to reweigh the cooked rice again on a food scale. All right. So I'm turn the food scale on. Yes, I'm going to be this elementary with it. You can turn the food scale on, set it to zero. All right. Pour your cooked white rice in a container or a bowl or whatever and see what the amount is. It's going to be significantly more than the dry amount. So it is no longer going to be 184 grams. It is going to expand. All right. So whatever it comes out to be, let's just say it comes out to be 400 grams. I have no idea what it's going to come out to be, um, but let's say it's 400 grams. What you are going to do then is you are going in whatever nutrition tracking app you're using, you are going to input a custom food, okay? Custom foods. You're going to add a custom food. You are going to name it cooked white rice, okay? Then you're going to go into your notebook or into your phone where you took the screenshot of the macros and the calories for the 184 grams of uncooked white rice, okay? You are then going to copy the macros of that uncooked dry white rice into this custom food cooked white rice. So you're going to type in 400 grams what, or whatever it came out to be cooked, right? You're going to copy the macros because the macros don't change, just the amount, the volume changes, okay? That's the only thing that changes. The macros and the calories cooked versus uncooked are the same, okay? So you're going to type in 400 grams. You're going to, you're going to again, title it cooked white rice. Serving size, 400 grams. And then you're going to copy the macro, 680 calories, whatever the carbs and the fats and the protein were, whatever. You're going to, you're going to copy it from your screenshot or from your notebook or your post-it note to where you wrote that down, okay? You're going to hit uh, submit. Now, you have that custom food cooked white rice in your nutrition tracking app for the rest of time. You never have to do this again for white rice. Now, you might have to do this for, for instance, russet potatoes. If you, if you buy raw, uncooked russet potatoes and you're going to batch cook those for the week or whatever, you're going to have to go through the same process, cooked versus uncooked, the exact same process I just used here. And you're going to create a custom entry for cooked white potato or cooked russet potato, right? So it's really... That, that, that's how you batch prep and have an accurate count on calories and macros. All right. Then after it's cooked, real easy. All you're going to do as you're divvying it up in your Tupperware or what meal prep containers or whatever the hell it is that you use uh, for your five days of, of meal prep, you're just going to then divvy out the rice in whatever portion you want, right? Um, you're going to divvy out the rice. You're going to flop it in your meal prep container on a food scale, you got your meal prep container on your food scale, you're going to plop out whatever amount of cooked white rice on there on a food scale. You're going to see what it is. And then you're just going to bring up your cooked white rice entry. Okay, because now you have it in there, right? You're going to type in whatever that amount that you divvied out was, change the amount, hit enter, and it will populate and calculate the accurate macros and calories for that rice. That's it. Okay. And you're just gonna. It's it, that's how you 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 batch cook, and divvy things up. Okay, this is the process that you go through. Okay, now so that's for that's for batch cooking carbs. All right, and again, now you had now all if you de, if you eat different amounts of white rice one day to the next or whatever, you, all you got to do is bring up cooked white rice and just change the amount. If one day you're eating 100 grams, 
pop in 100 grams, hit enter. You get the calories and macros. Next day, maybe you want some more uh, white rice. Bring up, you know, if you're going to have 150 or 200 grams, whatever, 200 grams. Bring up your cooked white rice entry, top in, type in 200 grams, enter, bam. You got the, the right calories and macros, all right? Now, let's move on to a protein. Here is a package of free-range, raw, uncooked chicken breast from Walmart, all right? Same process, all right? So I'm going to... I can get back to the home screen. I'm going to, once again, scan the barcode in whatever nutrition tracking app you're using. Should have a barcode scanner. If you use MyFitnessPal, they charge for it. I'm going to scan the barcode. It pops right up. Okay, so I'm going to leave this up here for the time being. I've scanned it. Now, I'm going to tear open the package. I'm going to put a plate. I don't have a plate handy. You know what a plate is. Put a plate on my food scale. I'm going to zero it out. I'm going to plop this entire thing of chicken, or if you're going to do two packages of chicken, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to plop it all on my food scale in grams, raw amount, and then I'm going to see what it comes out to be. And then I'm going to type it. I'm going to type it in, right? Same thing. And it's going to give me, if I do a package of this, let's say that this is 450 grams of raw trick chicken breast. I have no idea what it is. Probably somewhere in that area. Um, I'm going to hit enter. All right. And it's going to give me the total calories for the whole package of chicken uncooked and the macros, uh, very minimal fat, no carb, and a bunch of protein, right? It's going to give me the, the, the calories and macros for the entire package of, 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 of chicken, all right? Once again, I'm either going to screenshot that entry after I adjust the grams for the whole batch. I'm either going to screenshot it or I'm going to write it down, pen and paper, in a notebook or on a post-it note, okay, so I can refer back to it. Then I'm once again going to cook the entire thing of chicken, Whatever, air fryer, skillet, bake it. I don't. I don't care. Although, I'm actually. I'm not even going to tell you. What I was going to tell you next, because it'll throw you all off. Okay, cook it. Whatever. Whatever method you, you're going to use, right? Then you are going to reweigh it once it comes out of the oven or the air fryer or whatever out of the skillet. You're going to reweigh it again. The whole thing on the food scale, right? So now, once again, you're going to go in. You're going to go to custom foods. Here's all my custom foods. I'm going to hit plus or whatever. This is this is nutrition I extract. It might look different in my fitness power, whatever. I'm going to add, add another custom food. Cooked chicken breast. Okay. If you want to put from Walmart, label it however you want. But cooked chicken breast. All right. You are going to um, then enter the amount, whatever the total gram amount of the cooked chicken came out to be. Enter it. Then you're going to copy the macros again the calories and macros from the uncooked amount, all right? Now, this is different than rice, okay? Protein sources, chicken, fish, beef, are going to shrink, not expand when you cook it. The macros are the same, okay? Um, so then, again, I think I'm going dark here. You're just going to, once again, you're gonna copy the calories and macros over to the cooked chicken breast entry in whatever amount it came out to be cooked. Okay, you're going to hit submit. Now you have an entry for cooked chicken breast for the rest of your life. Again, same process. Maybe the following week you want to batch prep, batch prep pork tenderloin or ground, lean ground turkey. It's the same process. That I, I'm not going to go through every conceivable protein and carb source. It's the same process as what I've outlined here. I've done one carb source. I've done one protein source. That's it. Okay. Um, so that's how, and again, so once you're in the meal prep process where you got your stack of meal prep containers or Tupperware or whatever, you're going to divvy out chicken in whatever amount you want to eat, 100 grams to four ounce, whatever it is, or 100 grams, whatever, 150 grams, 75 grams, whatever it is you choose to do. It's ideally, it should give you at least 25 grams of protein, by the way. Um, you're just going to get your, your meal prep container out, set it on your food scale, Zero it out, divvy up, divvy out some cooked chicken, plop it on the food scale, see what it says, or get it to the amount that you want. And you're gonna bring up your cooked chicken breast custom food entry. You're gonna plop in 75 grams. Let's call it, let's say you're having 75 grams. That's just call it 100 grams because 100 grams is gonna give you more of the protein that I'm looking for you to have. All right, you're gonna type in 100 grams. 
All right, you're gonna hit enter and it's gonna give you the correct macros um, and calories for cooked chicken breast. That, that's, that, so that's how you do this, okay? Um, again, there is some front end work to do, um, but once you do it correctly once, um, you'll, you'll have that information for the rest of your life and then meal prepping becomes really, really easy going forward because all you gotta do is just throw it in the oven or throw it in the Instant Pot and then you can just divvy it out cooked and bring up your entry for cooked whatever change the amount in grams and then hit enter and you're going to get the right the right macros for it okay so that you know that about covers it um fine again i would get like five good protein sources get a lean ground turkey get a chicken breast get a lean ground beef some people like pork tenderloin uh, and maybe like you know white fish like a cod or something um and i would just you know meal prep those like pick a new one every week and that then over the course of, uh, of a month or six weeks you basically have all your entries that you're ever going to use for the rest of your life obviously you can add you can add new ones if you want um and that's that i mean then, then you have it so i hope that this video finally puts an end to this massive confusion and stress level surrounding cooked versus uncooked food and macros and calories of cooked versus uncooked food and how to meal prep and batch cook and get the right uh, calorie and macro counts. All right. Uh, that is all. Feel free to ask me questions on this at any time. Thanks.